Okay, so today we're going to help you kind of simplify your life when it comes to cooking. So mm -hmm. much time can be spent in the kitchen, but we're going to minimize that. Yeah, one of the tips that they always give you for living a healthy lifestyle and cooking healthy meals is preparation. So right. we have Jen Baer here with us, the slow cooker extraordinaire, uh, to you. show us some healthier options for your slow cooker. That's right, that's right. So, um, you know, the last time I was here, I was talking about I was doing a 21 day detox mm -hmm. cleanse. So, definitely been, uh, that's going well, by the way. I'm about two weeks in. Good for so you. So, I've been focusing on a lot more healthy recipes. Yeah. Yeah. and creating healthier recipes or getting into spring. So one that we love to make at our house is spaghetti squash. And I don't know if, I know Danielle, you said that you make this a yes. lot, but um, I'm not sure if you've made it, Justin, but it's really simple. Um, you just cut the spaghetti squash in half and you scoop out the seeds. It kind of looks like a pumpkin in there. Mm -hmm. And um, you can cook those, just put them uh, face down in the slow cooker, side by side. And then I'll show you how for any of the viewers at home if they haven't kind of made this before. Out there. So I noticed that the slow cooker it has nothing in it. Do you just put it in there? Uh, I put it in there and I put about a half a cup of water. And, and that's could, it. That's it. Um, oh, if wow. you're going to make it with like a pasta sauce, as an example, you could even pour some of the pasta sauce around um, the spaghetti squash, and it just scoops out nice yeah, and easily so like that. Easy. And it's so nice if you're eating low carb mm -hmm. or you know gluten free. It kind of tastes like pasta a little bit, and you can dress it up with some sauces. I put it with a pesto sauce. That looks delicious. And tomatoes How long in the slow cooker. Um, so four hours on low okay. in the slow cooker. And then what I love about uh, pairing it with pesto is you can eat it hot or you can have it cold, kind of like a pasta salad, which is really Great nice. Great options. As well. so yeah. That's a good make ahead one. Definitely. And I see yes. broccoli over here, and we that's just did right. a story about how healthy broccoli yes, is. So that's good a good thing. It's good for your liver. <laughs> this looks yes. quite tasty. So, this is a Chinese chicken and rice noodle. Uh, for the slow cooker, and we're going to go ahead and make this if you guys want to help me Perfect. out here. Perfect, yeah, let's do and it. And I use broccoli. You can use uh, snap peas, you can use asparagus, whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with just a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I cut that into bite-sized pieces there. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then dump that in. yep, and about a cup. You can put all of it in. Okay, just dump of, uh, it on in there. Yes, and I like to use the frozen broccoli because it's nice and easy. If you're using say, asparagus, you use get the fresh asparagus. But yeah, whatever your kids like, use that vegetable. Dump okay. it in so. there. Yeah. And this is a combination of what you're putting in here. Yes. This so we've got soy sauce, honey, and then this is a chili garlic sauce. And I just wanted to show that Ooh, to delicious. the viewers at home in case they weren't familiar with what that is. That's in the Asian food aisle mm -hmm. um, at your grocery store. So we're just going to dump that sauce in. Danielle, you're such a good. Cook. Oh, I yes, know you're I doing know. great. My skills are just amazing with all this. That's right. She's my slow cooker yes, sidekick Jen has here. taught me well. <laughs> so this one is, again, really easy, and we're going to cook that on low for two hours, just two hours, because we've already got the chicken cut up in bite-sized pieces. Then you want to give that a good stir, and then prepare your noodles um, after that. And this is a gluten-free organic rice noodle that I got from Costco. So there's a lot of good options yeah. with the rice noodles that you could do the gluten-free. And so you don't have to pre-cook the chicken. You can put it in there raw. Just put it in there so raw, yep, and then give it a good toss, and then toss it with the noodles before you serve it, and you've got a great great dish. And that's a great mm -hmm. substitute, like if you're really craving Chinese takeout right. or something like a that. A lot healthier, yes. right? healthier option. Love it. All right, where can people find these recipes, Jen? Uh, both of these recipes are up at getcrocked.com today. All right, thank you so much.